Bonjour, mes amis. Hello, my friends. How are you? Comment ça va? Thank you for coming today, and welcome back to Junior Elementary STEM class. Our lesson today is called The Sound of Music, Part 2. For today's lesson, you'll need a pair of scissors, a graphite pencil, five paper straws, four elastics, two paper plates, four skewers, and four clothespins. Today's lesson is about stringed instruments. Can you name different stringed instruments? Here's just a few examples of the many different stringed instruments, instruments that are around the world. All stringed instruments make sound and notes by vibrating. Musicians make the strings vibrate by rubbing a bow against them, striking them, or plucking them. However, if you were to take a string and stretch it tight and pluck it, it likely would not make a very loud sound. That's why most stringed instruments have something that amplifies the sound, makes it louder. This is called the sound box or resonator. The sound box is often the largest part of the instrument or the body of the instrument. Today's project is called the paper plate banjo. Let's start by placing your roll of masking tape in the center of one of the plates and trace the inside of it. Now make sure you have a nice sharp pencil because you're going to poke a hole through the center of the circle that you just drew. Now starting at the hole, cut out the circle you traced. Now at this point, it's actually a good time for you to color or decorate the bottom of both plates. Now I'm not gonna be doing this step, but take your time to do this to make your banjo the way you want it to look. Now put the two plates together so that the bottoms are on the outside. Get your mom or dad to staple them together for you. If you don't have a stapler, you can go ahead and use the masking tape and tape the entire edge of both plates together. Now tape one end of all four paper straws, of four paper straws, not all four, there's five. Now place a skewer dull end first inside each straw. Now connect two straws together by inserting the pointy end of the skewer into the opposite straw. Push them together until the straws touch, and then you can tape the connection point between the two straws. Now, tape the two straws together to create the arm of your banjo. Now, take your last straw and cut it into two pieces. Tape one piece on the left side of the hole.
Now tape the other piece on the right side of the hole. Now tape one end of the arm of the banjo to the back of your sound box. Be sure to tape this down really, really well. You want it to be solid. You'll be holding your banjo by the arm. Now stretch the four elastics around the sound box and make sure they go over the hole and the two straw halves. Now tape down the elastics on the back of the banjo. This will make sure they don't slip off the sound box. And your last step is to take the clothes pins and pin each elastic at four different places on the arm of the, of the banjo. Be careful not to stretch them too far. You could make the elastic snap. They shouldn't be able to go very, very far. I had to adjust mine. And I tried to stretch them gradually longer to really make them have four different musical notes. All right. So now, as you can see, this makes a bit of a small ukulele or banjo and a tighter you pull the elastics, the higher the pitch will be. You'll be able to pluck these just like a regular banjo or guitar to make music. <laughs> Thank you, my friends, for joining Junior Elementary STEM class. Merci beaucoup. I'm sure you had fun creating your own little banjo and I hope you enjoy playing some music with it too. Prends soin de vous, take care of yourselves, and I will see you next week. Au revoir!